Hi guys, uh, we're back here on this uh, battery pack, and uh, I think really we're we're getting down to it. I've been taking some of it apart. Um, I took the BMS off of it, which is right here. Um, this unit here, and uh, basically I just unplugged everything and unbolted it. It's pretty simple. Um, what I need to do, if you, you can see much better over here now, <clears throat> you can see there's an aluminum frame on each end of the modules. And the modules are connected with a through threaded rod or dowel or something that goes all the way through and there's one on each corner of the uh, of the module so it's a frame inside of a frame basically um, so what I want to do is I want to take this black stuff off this steel black frame and there's one on each end guys we got everything stripped off of it now so see back here we got our cooling system completely off and it becomes much more clear uh, what we have here um, each row has an aluminum end cap on it and they're just stacked on top of each other here all right uh, all my modules are completely free they're just setting in the bottom of the base here over here we have these metal straps that go down the whole way that are, are more reinforcing and reinforcement and you know keeping the whole thing together of course we have all of our strapping and our BMS wiring underneath of here and this is the BMS uh, pigtail so it'll come off with the cells and on the back side here we got a single strap in the middle <coughs> as reinforcement and then we have our through pins here so uh, it's just sitting in there so now what I need to do is just lift it apart well there you go guys that's what's left that's the base Uh, the only thing I want to get out of base would be the safety plug thing and uh, we'll see if we can make that work uh, we really need the original plug for it but um, there we go my neighbor came over and helped me and we got the cells all up on the bench we took and uh, I cut the uh, I cut the end frames off and then we just used the uh, upper portion and bolted it in to the aluminum end plates put our bar back on top so we could grab it and uh, lifted them over here and uh, you know it's a pretty good uh, it's pretty good weight even for two guys like I said I'm thinking they weigh at least 140 maybe a little more the cells themselves weigh 130 so there we go I think you can see here my my bench is 62 72 inches long it's six foot and the cells are completely on it um, with gaps in between the cells measure about well let's just get the tape measure out here from right there 
It's about 23 inches on the outside of the aluminum frame to outside of aluminum frame. So I'm thinking that half of that would be 12 and a half. So if we added that to 23, we would be at uh, well. Actually, we're only, it's not going to be that much. Um, eight of these is one, two, three, four. Ten and a half inches. There's the center right here. So we're looking at thirty. Let's say thirty-four inches. If we take eight and add it to one or each one, you know, take this one apart, put eight on that one and eight more on that one, we'd have two rows of 24. You know, we can wire them up any way we want, but uh, as far as putting them in the car, two rows of 24, I believe, will go underneath the car where the gas tank was with room to spare is what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. We gotta we gotta get down and dirty with it yet. But the uh, the preliminary estimate is is that we can get all these cells, which is where I wanted to put all my cells anyway, is where the gas tank and exhaust areas of the car. Uh, we have a, an area there that is almost 38 inches. So I was more worried about the uh, the length of it than I was the width um, with the cow gray cells. So. We'll have to remeasure, but it's looking very promising to be able to get these cells underneath the car, which is where I want them. I would rather not have a trunk full of batteries, or I don't want to raise the hood and see any batteries. I'd rather the batteries be fairly inconspicuous on the car. And by putting them underneath the car, uh, we're going to lower our center of gravity dramatically. Uh, by adding 400 and some odd pounds, you know, by the time we get a box on it, call it almost 500 pounds. So we're not going to hit our target weight, which was 2,500, but we're also increasing our range. So I think we're going to be in good shape, <clears throat> and I think we can get these cells under the car, and that is very pleasing to me. So because all the weight will be below the center line of the spindle of the axle or below the center line of the axle so you know you just can't put the weight anywhere else in the car and have it be better so that's where we're at on that I don't think I have anything to say else right now I think uh, I had this plastic piece off, but I don't think I had it in video. Um, this is kind of cool, very protective. Um, we may try to keep this, and um, I don't know, we'll, we'll explore that later on. But uh, we're going to have to bottom balance these cells, and you know, they're fully charged, so uh, the bleed off period here is going to be tremendous um, with 24 kilowatts of power. You know that'll run my house almost. Uh, that'll run my house almost two days. So a day and a half anyway. So that's about all I got right now. And uh, we did some work underneath the car. Uh, we got the engine out of it, and uh, the whole front end tore apart basically on it. So we'll get uh, we'll get some videos up of that. I did some of that earlier in the winter, and. Uh, it's warming up here now and uh, it's back to work and uh, since we got batteries for this car it's on now only thing we got to do now is just get it together so we got a long road ahead of us the car needs you know quite a bit of work uh, you know exterior interior and drivetrain none of us done yet so lots of work I hope everybody remember to set their clock if you need to set your clock, I don't need to set my clock. You can see right there why. Because I don't have an hour hand. Check this guy out right here. Check him out. Milo Garage. YouTuber Milo Garage. Check that out. Lots of learning to be had on that channel right there. Alright guys, take it easy.